Hello. Well, many of you will have heard already from Richard or some other source that we're hoping to get really back to church with the whole church family from next Sunday, the 6th of September. So this is just a short video for um, parents and carers of uh, children to let you know what's happening. So we're really looking forward to seeing the children back. It's going to be very good for all of us who've been trying to teach to actually see some faces and some some reactions and to see the little ones as well. Um, it'll look a bit different uh, because we've got all sorts of um, restrictions and guidelines that we've got to adhere to, but the basics are going to be the same. It's going to be teaching the children about the Lord Jesus from the Bible in an appropriate age age appropriate and um, fun sort of way and also for the very little ones just making them feel loved in the church family um, so our prayer is that every family will find there's uh, something that meets their needs but every individual situation is different so if you find that it doesn't quite meet your need do talk to us we're ready to adapt um, to deal with individual cases uh, we'll almost certainly have to adapt as the autumn goes on anyway. One of the things we may need to do is to cater for uh, larger numbers of children than we're initially planning for, and that'd be a great problem to have, and we're raring to go on that one. So um, you probably got uh, some specific questions. One of them, I should think, is will my family be safe? So uh, we will be following all the best um, advice about... Um, enhanced cleaning and uh, distancing, uh, sanitising, um, all the equipment like the toys and the furniture. Uh, children won't be sharing it. They'll have their own set of um, felt tips and barrow and so on, whatever they need. Um, separate spaces, separate toys for the little ones. Uh, and that'll all be quarantined during the week so that it's um, it's fresh again for the next week. And if we can't do that, we'll clean it all. Um, and uh, yeah, children will be two metres apart, um, same as we all have to be. I don't think children will have to wear face masks. Um, th that's one thing that at the moment we won't have to do. Second question might be, will your children enjoy themselves? Well, we can't play running around games. We can't sing, but... We've got some action songs lined up which are so energetic that I'm going to have to try and get, make sure somebody else is leading them because I don't think I can do it at my age. Um, and we'll do everything we can to make it different from school. Uh, what do you need to do? Um, just a few things um, that will be very familiar to you from everywhere you've gone and what the schools are saying and so on. Please don't come to church if anyone in your family has got a COVID sy symptom, so that's a new continuous cough, a high temperature or a loss of taste or smell. Um, please you know, bring your child in. They say bring your child in clean clothes. Um, I'm not sure why that's so very important, but uh, we'll say it because the schools say it. And don't let your child bring anything into the group that is more important, like a coat or uh, toys, because anything that comes into the group is obviously an infection risk. If possible, avoid using public transport to come to church. Uh, do let us know if your child is allergic to any sanitizers and send them with their own um, their own supply of sanitizer. Um, and if you've got a school aged child, could you leave a phone number with us at the door when you arrive, so that uh, and then leave your your mobile um, on silent and visible, so that if your child needs you or is just finding it too hard to social distance that we can we can call for you to come and get them um okay so so what about each age group babies will have the crash room unlocked just during the service and there will be space in there for three adults with babies so you know if you need privacy to breastfeed or uh baby's just making a happy or an unhappy noise then you can go in there and the service is streamed all the toys will be taken out, so it will just be the chairs in there um, as infection control. Uh, next, 18 months up to school age. So that's our usual tots and scramblers. Uh, the, the rules say that we can't take charge of them for you. We would love to, but uh, we're not allowed to. Um, so what we're going to do is in the um, porch, and there's a picture coming up now, 
there will be six pods, is what I'm calling them, set up. And each of them will have a mat, a uh, little stool and table for the child, chair for the adult, and uh, the child will have a dedicated box of toys. And those boxes of toys, as far as we can do it, are identical. So they, they shouldn't have sort of too many jealousy problems. Uh, the idea is that when the children go out to Sunday school, then parent can take a child out there and uh, there'll be one of the parents will be acting as the leader. They will stream the service so you can listen to the sermon. And then after the sermon, they'll tell a Bible story very simply to the children. During the sermon, the children will have had a chance to do some craft related to that Bible story. Um, that's the uh, the tots and the scramblers. Oh, yes, there, there is an alternative for that age group, which is that uh, if you prefer to keep your child with you in church, uh, that's fine too. We understand that children are not naturally um, silent or still. Um, if you do that, however, could you please bring your own toys? Uh, because I think that's the only way we can make sure things go in the right boxes. Um so that's uh, the, as I said, the younger ones now school age. Reception to year two, that's climbers down in the crypt as usual. Um, with what was different limits, uh, we can take a group of up to 12. That probably will be enough for us. Uh, we don't think we can allow parents to come down, but there will be special cases. In general, we can't have parents coming down because then we stop um, exceeding the group size limits. Um, but again, Talk to us uh, if, if there's a special need. Um, children will sanitise their hands. Uh, they'll be sitting two metres apart. You can see here what the room is going to look like. And Jay has made a lovely video for them to watch uh, so that it's not all too new to them when they come in. Uh, Barney will be there on day one. Um, and trailblazers will be up in the gallery room as usual. We think there's space up there for our usual trailblazers to distance. Uh, if the numbers go up, we'll bring in one of our contingency plans. Um, and uh, again, usual thing, sanitising hands, having their own supplies. So I think we've got it covered. We're very excited to see people back. Um, bear with us the first day. Tell us how you think it goes. And... A final thing, if you at any point you do have to uh, to be um, isolating at home, uh, please do let us know. Don't just disappear off our radar because we'd love to keep in touch and we will try and suggest some materials that you'll be able to use at home uh, because our weekly videos will now be stopping. So thanks very much for listening. That was a lot of information. Um, be there on Sunday. Any questions, ask me, ask Jay, ask uh, any of the other leaders. Bye.